Hey there everyone, let's take a look at the Hemlock BFR in Pilot vs. Pilot Combat. How best to use it and how best to get all your generation challenges with it. The Hemlock deals a maximum of 60 and a minimum of 40 damage versus um, pilots. Um, and it has the exact same range as the R101C Carbine. Now, at first glance, you may think, well, it has the same range and a little slightly better damage, but otherwise, it seems a little inferior to the Carbine, and I'm here to tell you that that's not exactly true. So let's start off with an apples-to-apples -apples comparison of the Hemlock to the Carbine. Both of these weapons, within their effective range of 32 meters, are going to be a four-shot kill. So this means that at close ranges, you may prefer the carbine over the hemlock, simply because there's no burst delay between shots. You can just hold your trigger down with the carbine and put four bullets on target and be done. Uh, with the hemlock, you can put three on target and then you have to wait to put your fourth bullet on, unless you're using starburst. Uh, however, you know, that's all assuming that if you're using Starburst on your Hemlock, that you can get four of your five bullets on target in one burst. That's the only time that your Hemlock is going to actually have a faster time to kill than the Carbine. So, if the Hemlock is generally going to have a slower time to kill than the Carbine within 32 meters, uh, why should I even bother using it over a Carbine? Well, the simple answer is that the Hemlock is technically going to be able to be more effective at longer ranges than the Carbine is. Uh, the Hemlock starts at 60 base damage, and the Carbine starts at 50. So, pilots have 200 base health, meaning that for the Carbine to be a 4-shot kill, an enemy has to be within the 32.3 meters. If they're at 32.5 meters, you need a 5th bullet to kill with the Carbine. This isn't so with the Hemlock. You're able to, to use it out past 40 meters um, and still have it be a 4-shot kill. So with this distinction made clear, let's use it to our advantage in my recommended class. For the Hemlock's attachments, I personally prefer to use extended mags as well as the AOG scope. Uh, we're going to be using this thing at a long enough range, usually, that uh, Starburst is actually going to hurt us more than it's going to help us just because of the massive amounts of recoil and the fact that we only would get five trigger pulls per magazine. Now, since we're generally going to be trying to use this weapon at a bit of a longer range, uh, the silencer is questionable as to whether or not you would want to use it. This is going to come down to your personal preference. Um, it's going to add an extra shot to kill as well as just reduce your range in general, so your four shot kills are going to turn into five, your five is going to turn into six, and it's going to generally be harder to kill enemy pilots. However, you're not revealing your location on the minimap, and if they don't know where you're shooting them from, then it doesn't matter how many bullets it takes if they can't turn around and fight you back. Tactical ability also kind of falls more into your personal playstyle. I prefer Stim, but Cloak is equally as viable. Uh, due to the, the distances that we're going to be playing at, Cloak is going to be more effective, since it doesn't really work very well at close range, but at longer ranges, it's, it starts to become more and more effective versus enemy pilots. Now, while in these clips I'm generally using satchel charges all the time, I actually recommend arc grenades with this class. Arc grenades do at least 100 damage. Um, I'm not sure of the exact numbers. To my knowledge, they're not yet released. But if you, you can kill a pilot in two arc grenades, so it's safe to assume that they're dealing at least 100 damage each. So, with that being said, you know, 100 plus 60 plus 60, that's going to be enough for a two-shot kill as long as you get an arc grenade to hit an enemy, so all of a sudden your two bursts are turning into one burst kills. So I very, very strongly recommend arc grenades with this. Um, satchels are good too, I mean they're always good, they're just, you know, just by themselves, they're excellent choices, but if we're trying to play with the Hemlock in particular and get kills with the Hemlock and not so much be as effective as an overall class, I definitely wholeheartedly recommend arc grenades. As for pilot's kits, I'm using my standard crutches of Minion Detector and Power Cell. Um, I just find these kits to be so indispensable that I almost never even give a chance to anything else. Um, the Minion Detector is going to allow me to figure out where enemy pilots are, as well as the minions, obviously. And then Power Cell is going to let me spam my stim more frequently. As for your sidearm, uh, again, that's personal preference. I would recommend either the... Well, actually, you can use whichever one you want. They're all equally viable. I personally like the auto pistol, just because after doing the generation challenge for getting, like, 9 trillion kills with it, um, I've just gotten really used to it, and I kind of like it. So I just use that in all my classes. Um, for your anti-titan weapon, the charge rifle is probably best. 
just because it can strip enemy shields and it doesn't give a lock on when you use it plus you're going to be at far ranges so it just seems like a good choice to me. One final important tactic that I'll mention with the hemlock is try to dance left and right back and forth like me and this guy are doing when shooting. It just makes you an extremely hard target to hit. I'll play that again in slow motion so you can see better. Just strafe back and forth, left and right, left and right, left and right as you're shooting at an enemy. You know, it just makes you extremely hard to track and shoot. Um, you can see here, this guy is just completely tricking me out, you know? And I'm doing the same thing to him. You can see all those bullets that are missing me, that are missing him. Neither of us can hit each other. It's just a, it's just a really good tactic when you're fighting anything that isn't a shotgun. Um, and I definitely strongly recommend that you take advantage of it when possible. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new and you learned a new appreciation for the Hemlock. Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.